Hello, and happy Saturday night. What's up, Anonymous, Angie, Henny, Raz? What's going on, guys? Randy? Appreciate you guys being here. So yeah, tonight we're going to be checking out the closed beta for Where Winds Meet, which is a Chinese martial arts themed open world action adventure RPG, kind of a lot of different genres all in one here. And like with anything that is sponsored, I of course have to disclose that to you guys. So this stream is sponsored by Where Winds Meet. They did reach out to the channel and asked me to check out the closed beta live, which is really cool because I don't do a lot of live stream sponsorships. I usually do sponsorships where I have to do a ton of research and filming and editing. We're just going to play the game tonight and have a good time. So I appreciate them reaching out to the channel for this. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave chapter markers down below for those of you guys that are watching this after the video is over because I'm currently in the tutorial. And for what I'm told, the tutorial is quite long in this game. So those of you guys that are watching this after the stream is over, I'll give you the opportunity to jump around to different parts. I'll kind of sort that out for you a little bit. But I did prepare a quick paragraph just to give you guys an introduction to this game. And the idea for this game is that you play as a swordsman, unraveling the mystery of your identity and creating your own legendary wuxia. Wuxia is like a martial arts thing. Creating your own legendary wuxia story in a turbulent historical era. And the world is filled with political conspiracies, power struggles, and epic battles. And we're going to be traversing through a land destroyed by war. So sit back, relax. I have had my eye on this game for quite a while. I remember when they released the initial trailer for it. I think it was a couple years ago. So it's cool to finally be checking it out. So without further ado, let's jump right in. The hero's story, yes it is. Now the parts that you guys are not going to be seeing tonight on my particular stream, although I do encourage you guys to go check this out on other people's streams or other videos on YouTube, is the intro cinematic and also the combat tutorial, and the character creator. I'm a little bit past that, so I'm about 30 minutes into the tutorial right now. And I gotta say, the character creator was pretty crazy. You could like customize like little like little inches on your lips. I think it's even crazier than the Dragon's Dogma 2 character creator. Uh, so yeah, I'd recommend going to check that out, but we're gonna go ahead and continue on with the tutorial here. I actually haven't harvested any materials yet. Wish I could get this mouse out of the way. Hold on one second, folks. Let me get this mouse. There we go. All right. Please work. Please work. Let me just show you guys a few different things really quickly. As you guys can see, I have out a sword right now. And I have a few different sword abilities that I can do. It's one where you kind of throw like a little knife and then quickly dash towards your opponent and then I have this kind of retreat attack I guess you could say and I can also switch to my spear which has its own set of weapon abilities also and I don't have a lot unlocked right now I still am very much learning this game and there's a lot of different systems and mechanics a lot more than I thought there was going to be so I'm pretty much still a noob and I'll be learning with you guys so let's uh let's head over here to my quest objective Speaking of quest objectives, right now my quest is chapter one, Fairy's End. Through no traces of the man in black was found, a strange dragon mark and the old letters of Uncle Zhang are big gains. Go to the general shrine with Hong Xian. Journey onward and leave the bamboo forest. We have homepage, main quest, side quest, encounters, and then something else. I don't exactly know what those are. I take a look at the menu here. I'll just quickly go over this for you guys so you guys can see what this game has. We have the character screen right here, combat stats, character status, healer ability, which I haven't unlocked anything yet, rhetorician ability, exploration ability. We have my character's inventory, which I don't really have that much right now. I have some arrows and also some type of food, I guess. Um, I have my gear, which I do have a bow equipped. I kind of forgot about that. We have materials, saddlebag, others, coin pouch, profession, and construction. We have the archive. Build. This is what I currently have set on my character. Um, gear growth. I think I can actually enhance a weapon right now, which I haven't done yet. So let me see if I can upgrade my sword a little bit. I hold down square on the sword. 
Nice. And we have the armory. And then the artistries, which is a really big part of this game. So like when you're running around, you can switch between different artistries. Obviously, if you're in combat, you want to use a combat artistry, and it gives you like access to some pretty cool skills. We have combat artistries, adventure artistries. So like if I'm not in combat, I might switch to adventure artistries, then you get like better land traversal and things like that. We have harvest artistries. King Gong. I don't know how to pronounce a lot in this game. Um, and then archery artistries. But yeah. We'll learn that as we go. But I know I can switch artistries by hitting up on the D-pad. So right now I'm in combat artistries and I have this attack. A little kick or something like that. And if I switch to adventure artistries, I have a whole different set of like land traversal type things. But there's a lot to learn in this game. So we'll just leave it at that and take it slow. These resting points allow adventurers to fast travel to various places across the land. All right, and then I already did a quick little quest inside this little cottage right here. I want to come back in and see if I missed anything. I think we're good, okay. So let's push on. Everything's so smooth in this game. Like I said, I did do the combat tutorial. I wish I could have shown you guys that. It. It's uh, it's pretty fun. Oh, sh oh god, I almost, I almost forgot my... I uh, almost fell off a cliff right at the start of the stream. I forgot to dash in the air. Not exactly sure what I'm doing right now, but maybe I shouldn't stand near that. Interesting test, though. I kind of want to let it go all the way to see what happens. Hey, cat. You know, I didn't. I wasn't given a release date, so I'm not sure. But this is the closed beta, so I would imagine that it's not too far off in the future. God, man, look at the world. You know, the intro to the game you start off on horseback using your bow. It's I think that was actually showcased a few years ago when they announced the gameplay for this game with the with the gameplay announcement trailer, but it was pretty cool. Now do note, I am playing, let me show you guys real fast what I'm playing on right now. This this could be really bad, but I'm playing on exploration mode, offers limited guidance. It allows for a more immersive experience with added difficulty, but you can switch that to detailed guide. Offers clear instructions on the quests and activities recommended for MMO players, online gamers, and beginners. So the game will play, it'll look a little bit more like an MMO where you have like a lot more guidance with everything. But I'm playing on exploration mode. I currently have the combat difficulty set on difficult, which is probably a mistake. Combat's very challenging, fit for players who like to challenge themselves, so probably going to die a lot. Jiajong 那是文清馆的弟子 
。大侠，大侠，最近好多江湖人都来清河了，你们是来做什么的呀？是不是这里有宝藏，还是武林秘籍？这，啊，文金馆虽为江湖名门，但在下武艺微末，实在当不起侠客之名，恐怕辜负姑娘期待了。原来你不是大侠呀！大侠怎么会连剑都射不准？算了，也没伤到呢。我们走吧。往后研究工具，还要更小心些。等等等，师傅说过，君子无错，是因为君子能够弥补自己的过失。封某这里，正有一本射术心得，勉强算得上秘籍。Manual of Archery。愿赠与二位，给二位赔个不是。射术心得。说来惭愧，此书是我多年研究心血，从如何提升眼力，到根据鸟语判定风势，皆有记录。你看这第三章，探讨了用食指二指节当括约弦，其用力的大小对射中目标的影响。听得晕晕乎乎的。等等，老大，他刚才说这是秘籍是吧？是秘籍、啊。老大，快收下。你花了这么多心血写就的秘籍，就这样送与我们？这赔礼也太贵重了，少侠此言差矣。多一个人学会射术，我的研究便能流传更广。这本就是我的心愿，你可先看看，有什么难懂之处，冯某定全力解答。Get to do some archery now. Oh yeah, also note that I do have in the description. I think it's going to pop up in the live chat here soon. I have links for pre-registration for this game, links to their Discord server, and also the Twitter account or X account for for wins meet. If you guys want to check that out. Like a clear mirror halting water's flow, still water halts the flow of time, slowing down surrounding targets significantly while active. This ability consumes stamina per second. Press R3 to use it in archery mode. Oh, okay, so we unlocked the archery artistry. Do I have to equip it? I'm not sure. Nope. So yeah, I guess I have three weapons right now. We have the spear, we have the, the sword, and also the bow right here. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, it only lasts so long as when you got stamina. Oh, that feels really good. You do have to lead your arrows in this game. When I was on horseback earlier, it was really hard to hit. Definitely challenging, for sure. No! That helps a lot. <laughs> Hold on, I can't stop doing this. This is too much fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, we gotta go a little bit ahead, maybe. Yep, just a little bit ahead. I'm not used to shooting with R2. I am playing with a PS5 controller right now. You can play with mouse and keyboard. Hey, what's up, Midori? Thanks for stopping in, man. Appreciate it. Alright。冯大哥，止水的药领我已经领会的差不多了。太好了，止水还是第一次授予他人。啊，可否与我一同射击那悬崖边的鸟儿？助我以观时效。Um, sure, we'll do target practice. Why not?好呀，我正想试试。少侠，可准备好了？Where are we doing it, brother? 这些鸟儿行动非常灵活，大侠，咱们可得瞄准了。老大真厉害，本侠没看错你。Wow, that's difficult. What? There we go. There we go. I feel like it's going to be even more satisfying to not use the still water. I'm someone who likes to, to shoot with R1 as opposed to R2. But I didn't set up the controls for that. I just got to roll, roll with what we got. Oh, this is like a perfect thumbnail right here. I might have to change the thumbnail of the stream after and take a screenshot right here. The game does have like a camera mode that I went into earlier. Pretty badass, isn't it? 
you could do some really cool screenshots. I know some people are really Oh my god, this is perfect. You know what? I'm taking a I'm taking a quick picture. I could emote my character too. Yep, I'm definitely changing the thumbnail. We're gonna change it to uh, yeah. Is that a good picture? You guys think that's pretty good? We'll get a little bit more of the sky, maybe down a little bit. Yeah, right there, baby. Got it. Okay, we're gonna save that. Nice. Okay. All right, let's push on. And sorry, y'all, I'm not as active with the chat right now because there's a lot to learn in this game. It, it's good though because there's so there's so many systems and they all seem seem like they're implemented quite well so far. But there's a lot to take in. I'm trying to focus right now. <laughs>我这射术也提升了不少明明是我亏欠在先反而又得了益处其实我听闻来清河的江湖人中不乏穷凶极恶之辈就连死人刀也啊我知道了其他大侠来清河是为了抓这个恶人要替天行动呃总之那个恶人
Hey, Risky, MF Hume, what's going on, Riles? Hello. Nope, this is closed beta right now. I'm not sure when it's releasing, but I would imagine sometime soon if we're in closed beta already, so. All right, so we have two different areas here. Wayfarers gather around campfires. Completing open world activities of the current region, like unlocking boundary markers, finishing encounters, etc., will raise the exploration points of the area. Continue exploring to accumulate exploration points and increase the exploration level. Okay. Alright, so we're currently in Meadow's Reach right now. We're getting close to General Shrine, which I think, I think I'm still, yeah, I think this is all still part of the tutorial. I was a little bit confused with the explanation, but I think we're still in the tutorial right now, so. Alright, find out the Wayfarer's purpose. Yeah. Give him 100 Echo Jade, bargain or think about it. Um, let's click on bargain. Uh, Alright, so we're going to give him 100 Echo Jades. 真的给我钱? 哇! 少侠真乃清河第一纯善之人,有上古之风啊。这宝贝乃是奇数, oh, we're getting a new artistry. Hyper senses. 若能打些路来,你我一边吃肉,一边翻阅我的好书,更是惬意。Alright, we have to go hunt deer right now. Hyper senses artistry. So let me go into my artistry menu. Heighten your senses, listening to the wind to identify approaching figures, enemy weaknesses, and environmental clues and traces. Press right on the D-pad to use it. Okay. Hold down right on the D-pad. Ooh. Investigative mode. Use the crosshairs to aim. Press L2 to charge. And then release R2 to shoot. I don't think that's what we're doing right now. That's for the bow. Okay, cool. So we can see all the deer in the region. And also all of the flora and foliage. Hunt down a Milu deer, okay? I think I can probably do that pretty easy, right? We're gonna go for the heart. What's up, Mr. Hardcore? Hey, Flemish. Animations look really smooth. Yeah, everything feels really smooth so far. Really smooth. I think I'm on 60 FPS right now. Let me take out another deer real fast. Take this game slow. Now, don't quote me on this. I didn't have any of this. None of this information was provided to me by the devs. But I read like an article earlier, I think it was by Eurogamer. Oh man, is the game a little bit too loud? Might be a little bit too loud. By Eurogamer that said something about um turn this down a little. Go to 35. About being able to play the game with other players. But you can also play offline in single player. Something like that. Don't quote me on that, but. I noticed when I see when I go to the when we go to the settings and we go to audio, we have voice chat volume here. So obviously that means something, right? But I don't want to talk about it because I don't really know what I'm talking about. So. Lao 
Chronicles, new system unlocked. Oh my god, there's another system. Chronicles, when trying to understand the world, reading words on parchment is akin to looking at mere illusions, which pales in comparison to the experience of picking up a sword, facing an open road, and singing a hero's song. Okay. Wuxia. What did I just do? Crap. Oh, we have the crafting system right here. Roasted meat. Need to find no available bench. You need to find one to start crafting. Okay, so we can't do that right now. But as you guys can see, we have forge, we have cook, pharmacy, crafts, and carpentry. Holy crap. Bow, construction, pills, remedies, dish, drinks. Nice. And then we have wuxia, which is the martial arts. Yeah, there's so much to take in. We have collections for everybody that likes to go trophy hunting, waypoints, dungeons. Oh man, that gets me excited. That gets me really excited. Strongholds and also bosses too. All right. Shadow Puppeteer, 0%. Ghost Claw, 0%. I did fight one boss in the combat tutorial. His name was the Faceless Tyrant. And it was uh, it was pretty intense, but hopefully I come up to something else while we're playing too. I'm sure that I will at some point. All right, go to the General Shrine. Let's head out into the world now, I guess. Let's take our time and see what we can pick up. Dude, how look how good this game looks! Oh my God. I think I'm going to be taking a trip to China soon. Hey, Blue-Eyed, what's up? It's picked up Echo Jades. That must be the primary form of currency in this game. No, I don't want to kill this bird, but I'm going to do it anyways. See if we can pick up anything from it. Golden Falcon. Eagle Quill and experience from that. Oh, here you go. Here we go. Get you guys a little bit of combat going. See if I can remember how to do it. Oh, yeah. What a shot. Oh, man. Okay. I am on the difficult. I am on the hardest difficulty right now. And there's an archer shooting at me. Let's go, baby. Try to remember my abilities here. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Nice. Smooth, baby. Smooth. Did they have their hands up? I feel like they just had their hands up. the spear for a second. I want to try out this one ability. There is a lock-on system in this game. You don't have to do it, though. I think there's like a little bit of a soft lock when you don't. Oh, look at that. It's my first time using that. Yes. Switch back to the sword. Oh, you know why I'm in the wrong? I'll tell you what I'm doing. There we go. I was in the wrong mode right there. I was in the wrong artistry. Oh yeah, let's go. That felt really good. So far the combat's been been phenomenal. Everything feels really good. It's like a mix of so many different games. To switch to the spear here. Oh, he's stuck. Here he comes. 
<laughs> oh my god. I don't know if I can parry the bear. I don't know if I want to try. Oh my god, no, I'm gonna die. No, I don't want to die. I do have four health potions right now. Run! There we go. I like how the arrow just kind of stays inside the animal. What's it doing? Is it running for me? I get scared. Oh, I kind of feel bad. I don't know if I should kill it now, but you know what? I have to. Oh, it got its HP back. Dude, this thing hits really freaking hard. Holy crap. I think I'm almost dead again. Yeah, I don't think I can block the bear. Oh, no. Some of my weapon abilities are on cooldown. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Is exhausted right now. Gotcha. How are we doing with volume? Everything sounding okay right now? The game was extremely loud when it first started it up. Yep, this is a sponsored stream. This is Wuxia. Wuxia style. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I think when I, I talked about this game in the past on the channel in one of my videos, I think I was saying Wuxia or Wuxia, but I think it's pronounced Wuxia. Wuxia. Something like that. Awake the silent shrine with the force of a heavy stomp. Um. Switch my combat style up a little bit. So R2 and then down. Whoa. I don't know what that did, but it did something. An unnamed stone shrine lies behind a sealed gate. The surrounding stone plates may hold some clues. We go into explorer mode. Oh, wasted a potion. Wrong button. Okay. Take these guys out real fast. And then we're going to do the, the quest. I think you get a little bit of a little bit of invulnerability there when you do that. I really want to parry an attack for you guys, but it's hard when you're first starting out. Alright, let's go into character. Check a couple things again here. Um Chronicles inventory. La -da 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 -da. Upgraded my sword earlier. I don't have a bracelet to wear. I do have a pendant that I should probably put on. 27 gear rating. Increase leap attack damage by 20% and inflict a knockdown effect on the target. Sure, we'll put that on. And I also have this. Nice. Okay, we'll equip that. I don't have a chest plate at the moment. 
And I only have one bow. Okay, all right. Go to styles, gear growth, build. Nameless spear, nameless sword. Let me go back in. Let's go to styles. Here we go. So I have a nameless spear and sword equipped. There's definitely more weapons in this game. Earthbound strike, whirlwind spin, storm dash, basic attack. We can switch style if I press triangle, it says. Oh, cool. Look at this. Okay. Lance style unequipped, Oblivion Lance, Thunder Lance. Please select a style to switch to. Okay. So everything's locked except the one that I'm currently on right now, so I can't actually switch styles, but it's cool to see. At least I don't think I can. You guys like my character? Okay, let's continue on with our quest here. Go to the General's Shrine. Take the Chronicles and meet Hongxian in General's Shrine. All right. Now, I did read in the notes that there's a day and night cycle, clearly, as it's nighttime now, and I started off in the day, and there's also a real-time weather system in this game. Yep, I'm using PS5 controller right now. I did see uh, another streamer that I know using mouse and keyboard, and it seemed to be working fine with mouse and keyboard too, so. But I haven't tried mouse and keyboard myself. I'm using a PS5 controller right now. I did see people riding horses, and I did start the game off on a mount, but I don't think these are my horses, so I don't think I can use them. Oh, okay. They don't care. <laughs> they just took the horses. Ha! <laughs> 我们可以选择主题，但我只是好奇，什么会发生。哦，我的天，我可以控制车子！你知道吗？对，我们来。哦，天，哦，天，这不是好。OK， 我们来。我们来。我们来。我们来。我们来。我们来。我们来。我们来。我们来。我们来。我们来。我们来。我们来。我们Sprint. Nice. And I think I can pull out my bow, too. Yes, we can. Let's go. Oh, my God. Look at the horizon. We can dismount, switch to archery, and jog and walk. Okay. Jog, walk, and then sprint. Let me try this dismount attack. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, so... Oh, eh, oh, damn, damn, don't go anywhere, buddy. I'll take care of you. Let's try this. If we go like this... I'm not sure if I can pull out my weapon or not. You must be able to. Alright, let's go back to the General's Shrine. It's not like this is going to be my save file when the game actually comes out, so we don't have to do everything perfectly. Or so, just kind of see what this game is all about. What if I should have taken that horse with me? I don't know where it is anymore. So I don't have a lot of information for you on that, Ruben, but I did read an article earlier was saying that you can play it single player. 
or you can play online multiplayer, but I just don't know anything about that, so I don't want to speak on it too much, but that's the article that I read before my stream. In my briefing, I didn't get any information on that, so... But there must be, like, some sort of online element to it, because we have the voice chat thing. But I'm fairly certain that you don't have to play with other players.岂止是见着了，他还给你领了个活儿。哎，就那边那个跑商的，摆了个擂台，说是有江湖人的玩意儿当彩头，红线一听不得了，立马把钱都给你交了。哎，你快去试试啊，得把本钱赢回来啊。
Let's turn down the dialogue a little bit since most of us can't understand it anyways. And then I can talk over it at times if I want to read some of the dialogue. So let's go dialogue down. 47. That sounds right. All right, I think it's our time to get into the arena here. Okay, here we go. I want to challenge you. Or please teach me. Let's go with teach me. Attack and ability, block and counter attack. Okay, so I already did this in the combat tutorial in the beginning of the game, so let's challenge him. There we go. Hey, Christina, what's up? Okay, exhaust your enemy to gain a point. Attain a total of five points to secure victory. Okay. How do you exhaust your enemy? You guys just beat him up a couple times? Attack or deflect until your enemy is exhausted. This will earn you a point. Okay, you can do it offensively or defensively. Each hit sustained reduces your chi. Once the, I, I don't know if it's pronounced chi or not. I know in, in Dungeons and Dragons it's it's chi, but it could also be ki. Once depleted, you'll suffer exhaustion, leading to a loss of points. Score a point by depleting your enemy's chi. The first to reach five points wins. Here we go. Oh, that's your chi in. You're using a bow? Oh, God, he's kicking my butt right now. Where'd he go? Let's go, baby. I'm gonna try defensive first. No, screw it, offensive. I'm already exhausted. He's got one point on me. This is a really bad start. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's using a bow. Yes, sir. Ow. He's got two now. This guy gets to use a bow and I don't. I gotta watch my stamina. I like his little bow attack though, pretty cool. Oh, come on. We just keep trading here. There we go. There we go. This is going to be a close one, folks. All right, I'm going to try a defensive now. Let's parry. I'm a little bit worried about the parry, though, because he's using a bow. Maybe I should stay offensive. Hey, I won. Yeah, I don't know if you can parry bow shots or what, so I was a little bit hesitant to try a parry. But I won, so that's all that matters. Same thing, different pronunciations from different areas. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, proceed. Nice. Not sure, Goth. I'm looking forward to a lot of games right now. All right, um, you have entered the quest area. Let's see here. Go to quest real fast. Not sure if I have to fight everybody here, or how this works, but let's go talk to this guy next. Either way, this is good practice. Require funds to buy medicine for my child. Tattoo <laughs> All right, let's go with the attack option. Be mean. Pick up the wooden weapon. All right, exhaust your enemy. Yep, we already did that. Attack or deflect, gotcha. Okay, maybe I can get some deflects going this time. 
Yeah, here we go. Oh, I had it. Oh, man. Wow, wow, wow. Keep getting these special weapon attacks that I keep forgetting to use. Oh, man. Just kick it. Just kicking my butt. There we go. A little counter attack. It wasn't the parry, it was a different one. Might as well just stay on it. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Get up. Get up, Wolf. Get up. Get up. No, no. I think I'm losing this one. Unless I go hog wild right now. I think it's over. It's too fast. Man, too, too fast for me to, to do the parry. Do another game, see what happens. Okay, here we go. I got it this time. I got it. Yes! Getting good now. I'm getting real good. So those are regular blocks. They're not parries. The parry is just... There we go. I got a little bit of parry right there. I thought I was winning. What happened? I thought I was winning. Oh, I am winning. Oh, I should have parried that right there. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Wow, that's a lot of stamina. There we go. Reset, reset, reset. Four to four. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Character's bugging out a little bit. Should I do it one more time? Let's do it one more time for practice. Can you get aggressive? There we go. I'm getting better. Getting better. Back up, reset, get my stamina back. Get up, get up, Wolf. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on, you fool. I'm trying to change something right now, but I don't know how to do it. Not very good. <laughs> There we go. There we go. I probably shouldn't switch to the spear. Out of, out exhausted. Dang it, man. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Pretty hard. But I am on the hardest difficulty, so it'd be expected, right? I know I can win this, though. One more time, one more time. I might have to do this for the main quest anyways.
I switched to that. I switched to the spear. I can't help it. It's just too much fun. And I'm getting my butt kicked now. Come on. Get that parry. Get that parry, baby. Dude, putting the heat on me. I just, I can't predict that. That's crazy. Got one parry right there. Wow. One more time. One more time. Yeah, the attack range is crazy in this game. They're so quick. I can't, I can't, my management's really bad. Come on, come on. Why did I switch the spear? Why did I do that? Gotcha. Game looks awesome. I'm a huge fan of martial arts novels, so I'm already sold, but I'm always skeptical of Eastern games. Neo. Okay, let's proceed. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. I pressed the wrong button. There we go. I had my finger down on the triangle right there. Hey, thanks, Ravs. I appreciate that. All right, one more, I guess, one more person to fight here. I'm not sure if this is what I'm supposed to be. Oh, two more people to fight? Oh, this is the main guy that I had to fight, actually. Ah,不好意思打扰了。请问扰都扰了。那就打吧。我天权神刀猛放旭。从不打手无寸铁之人。那谁？握好你的兵器，来打。Okay, let's see if we can do a deflection now. That's R1 at the right time to do a deflection. You can activate deflection assist in the settings. If you're not good at it. What are you doing? Oh my god, I nailed it right there. That was incredible. You got me. Get up, dude. Get up. I'm waiting for one of those big heavy red attacks to go off. Wrong button. Wrong button.
Come on, get up, get up. I forgot you can I forgot that you can jump and dodge too. Amidst the crowd cheers, none of you noticed that a small bug flew out of Fang's... The bug then weaved through the cheering crowd and quite... Oh, didn't get time to read that today. Claim your stake from Mr. Jin. Chen 不买不摸不要不说良友套一定我的祖奶奶呀这么好的价啊哎早说呀之前我凑一套花了几千文呢哎这几个人谁啊哎他们和那个老金一会儿等先等会我刚赢了那个天权神刀说好的彩头呢原
flame oil. Temporarily infuse the weapon with fire elements. Hold RT and RS to switch between hotkey items. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm switching between the healing potion and also the flame oil. Nailed it. Okay. Identify and incapacitate vital acupoints for debilitating effects without direct engagement. Use this artistry to seal an enemy's mer meridians and breath, rupturing their defense acupoint and chi lock, preventing chi recovery. Okay. And then to use it, I press... Ooh, oh man, look at that. Holy cow. That's smooth. And it transfers over to the spear, too. Here's an artistry that I haven't been using. Check this out. It's a combat artistry. If you guys see, like, right above my head... Oh, you guys can't even see the weapons on... Let me move my uh, webcam real fast so you can see what's in the bottom right of the screen. Just so you guys can see it at least once. So you notice I have the spear out right now. When I hold down R2, I have access to one skill, and the other skill is a weapon switch to the sword. If I press square, I have that, and then this switches to the sword, and then I have a few more abilities. But then above that, we have... The squares above that, where you can see the little broken shield, these are my artistries, and I currently have combat artistries equipped. And if I press up on the D-pad, that's what I get for that, but I can switch the artistries to other categories, such as whatever this one is right here. And that's like land traversal. And that's all I have. I only have the two artistries right now, but if we click on the artistries, you can see we have combat adventure, Harvest Artistries, which I haven't unlocked yet. Whatever that is. Diving. Thunder Stomp. Triple Ascent. Oh. Zephyr Dash. You can just... It seems like you can just switch between these artistries at any time when you have them unlocked just by pressing up on the D-pad. So whatever, like... Whatever you're doing in the game, when you're, like, in combat, you probably switch to the combat artistries. And when you're exploring, you might switch to Adventure or Harvest. Something like that. I don't fully understand it, but it seems like there's a lot to it. All right, back to the main quest. I can get up here. I think you can talk to pretty much every NPC in this game, too. Like, let me just go up to... Oh, this is the gold catcher. Of course, you can talk to him. We'll try to talk to the girl real fast. Oh, I don't have my chats up right now. My bad, folks. Hold on. Got to bring the chats back. There we go. One second, guys. It is incredibly enjoyable. You liking it, Anonymous? That dog bark needs help. Oh, so look, we have a Wuxia treasure in the shrine. There's a secret passage to the underground in the west wall of the general shrine. Check the surroundings for anything strange. Okay, let's go to quests. 
main quest. I'm on Fairy's End right now. Return home. As the night sets in, return home. And then side quests I have. Find the one calling in distress. I kind of want to try this. Uh, it's not showing what it is on top. It's not showing the full word. But it's, I think it's ex ex exploration quests or something like that. We can give gifts, talk, or leave. Let's give a gift. I don't have a gift. Somebody's gotta shut this dog up. I think it's gonna have to be me. I think this is the side quest that I just picked up. Approach the center of the rubble, press jump and press L3 midair. Oh, I forgot about that. Whoa, oh my god, no. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> okay. Guess it's dungeon time. Nice. Maybe dungeon time. You know, some, this isn't a JRPG, obviously. This is Chinese wuxia. But you guys think that this is playing so far kind of similar to the JRPG genre? Because I haven't really been someone that's really dipped into too many JRPGs overall. Um, but I think, like, I'm kind of getting sucked into some of these Eastern games now. Okay, I think I picked up a fast travel point. We can also rest, so let me rest. And that, I think that, I don't know what that, I forgot what that does. Maturity, Explorer's Rating, Fighter Rating. And I also leveled up. Arrow bag, arrow bag, arrow bag. Fire arrows, holy cow, I just picked up like a hundred fire arrows. More mature, you think? A little bit different? Okay, um... I guess it wasn't a dungeon. I think it's just this little place. I don't know what I'm supposed to do when I level up. Let's go to gear growth and see if I can upgrade my sword again. Yes, I can. So I have enough materials down here. So we're going to enhance the sword again. And I'm going to enhance my bow too. There we go. Oh, you can enhance your equipment too. And the shield. And the ring. And the pendant. Hope you get to fight demons and monsters. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if it's more I know the game has some realistic elements to it. Like I think if you forget to use that that um whatever that ability is that lets you land softly. I'm pretty sure you can like break limbs in this game. I I, I swear I read something like that. There's definitely an element of realism to this game, but also I don't know, like, yeah, how is it gonna get into the fantasy genre? I'm not sure. And I'm thinking that I can probably use a fire arrow here to get through that. Since I just picked them up, um, the question is, how do you equip the fire arrows? Triangle. Poison arrow, fire arrow. There we go. Wow, look at that. Nice. Ian, thank you so much for the five gifted. I think you did that last stream too, didn't you? <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Okay. I guess it is a dungeon. Let me try this too. Yeah. 
Come on, deflect, baby, deflect. I'm trying it so hard. There we go, there we go. Yes! Oh, that felt so good. Definitely a skill-based game. Although, like I said, there's definitely different difficulties. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty right now, but if we go to... Oh, look, I forgot to look at this, too. We have aptitude. Total disposition points. Enhances harmony of instruments. Waterborne reduces swimming stamina. We have all sorts of systems in this game. We go to mount. Ooh, you can do looks customization too. We have a stable and then we have beats. And looks. I'm just discovering new things. Every time I check the menu, I find something new in this game. Okay. I don't really know how to use it, but... Pharaoh, you're a member. Thanks to Ian. Thanks, Ian. I gotta see. I know there's a backstab ability in this game somewhere. There we go. I'm starting to get the hang of the combat. It takes a little bit. Totally different from any other games out there. Alright, here we go. Oh, baby. Hello. Not sure if there's like a torch or a lantern in this game, but... Grave of the Brave. Some of the dangerous areas have Grave of the Brave left by forebears. You can choose to heal yourself here after being defeated. Okay. Look, there's going to be a trap in here. Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna take. A, I'm gonna have to take a look at my notes here, because I was given one task for this stream, and I don't know how or when I'm going to get to it. But I'm not in a rush right now. That's for sure. I'm having a good time, but I want to make sure that I at least do what they asked me to do. But the explanation wasn't very clear as to what it means or how to get to it. We're just kind of guessing right now. They wanted me to show you guys something. I think it was like a nameless emperor fight or something like that. And I'm all for it. I just don't know how to get to it. Shoot a fire arrow at the vines to make the plank fall. Press L2 to aim and press X to switch arrows. Nice. Yes, this is open world, Thomas. Absolutely. I think it's a very big open world, too. It's They're calling it like an open world action adventure RPG. Like a million different genres mixed into one. Carry the powder keg to the wall, then detonate it. The explosion will blow up the rocks. Okay. Press L2 to aim and X to switch arrows. Carry the powder keg to the wall and then detonate it. All right. Um. Where's the powder keg? Yeah, we're still very much like in the tutorial phase of the game for sure. We're getting pop-ups left and right. All right, so how do I pick it up? I don't know how to pick it up. I can move, maybe just move. Just activate or explosive barrel. Oh, what? Basic attack, block, heavy. Pressing the button where I've been picking up things, but it's not working. R2. Oh, okay. See, so, all right. So you got to press the button and then let go. 
I guess not hold it down, so. Yeah. You see like a level up bar going, you think you have to hold something down. Started Octopath, nice. Oh man. This might be difficult. I'm not using the lock on right now. Combat seems to work pretty good when you're locked on and not locked on. Both are pretty good. Nice. A little bit nervous about fighting near the barrels right here, but I'm going to keep doing it anyways. Smooth, man. Smooth. I think I missed something back there. Sesame, hello. It looks like donuts that I'm picking up, but it's uh, echoes, I think they're called. Okay. Am I done? It's like in a game like this, you just can't help but get distracted by side content. There's just so much to do, so many places to go, so many tasks to be completed. Oh, no, no, I don't got my hands on my controller. What if I can put these guys near? Probably stop wasting that. Gotcha. off. Oh, yeah. There you go, folks. Now I'm starting to demonstrate the combat a little bit. Of fire arrows right now. Don't want to waste all those. Oh, jeez. Um, there we go. Where is this other guy? Oh, he's right here. Ah, oh, the impact. The impact is there. Not sure if there's headshots in this game. See, I'm getting 54 damage right now. Let me shoot his leg. Oh, right through his legs. Yeah, there is. There is weak spot damage. 30 for the chest, and then I think 50, 54 crit on the uh, on the head. Hey, Shara, what's up? Oh, my bad. I gotta move my camera over. Forgot to move it back. Wait, who is this guy? I don't think I... Can you pause in this game? We're gonna find out. Nope. I don't think you can pause. Yes, you can. Okay, hold on one second. Forgot to put my webcam back. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like in the middle of the screen almost. Happy that Shar said something. A silly webcam placement. 
Is it boss time? The elite marauder can be found at Meadow's Reach. What's this guy's name? I don't know what this guy's name is. Does he have a name? I need to take a health potion and I forgot how to switch to my health potions. Oh no. Oh no. Hold down R2 and then press. There we go. This guy's got a huge shield too. This is really a boss. But like kind of maybe like a little mini boss or something like that. I gotta manage my chi a little bit better. 340? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I didn't feel like a boss, because the tutorial boss was, uh, the tutorial boss was like a real boss, like double, like the one in the, I wish I could have played the, t the combat tutorial for you guys. Um, it had like double health bars, you know how like when you defeat one health bar, then the second health bar comes in. He's a pretty, uh, pretty badass dude. Got some lore here. Okay, solve the contraption by following the clues on the stone tablet. Nothing happened. Do I really need to kneel 1,000 times? I wonder if you can actually kneel 1,000 times to complete this quest. Solve the contraption by following the clues on the stone tablet. game does have some puzzles. I did read about that. I don't know exactly what we're doing here. Let me pick up my loot in this room first. Ah, oh, it disappeared. All the loot disappeared. I don't think it's any, and the inscription just seems to be lore. I think we're just looking at the stone tablet.
Oh, here we go. Hold on. It is. It is actually. In a great furry, I moved all the statues and stellies to this place. Any future visitors that still hold the creed of Wuxia should bow three times before General Wang. I think I gotta bow three times, maybe? I don't know if this is how you do it, but let's... Maybe I'm supposed to do it up there in front of that guy. Let's try. Can I bow? Emotes. Is that a bow right there? I'm not even sure. Looks like a bow, kind of. Drunk. It's probably not what I should do. Play dad, agree, provoke. Forgive me, I don't even have a bow emoji here. Maybe we should kneel three times? We'll try three. That might constitute as a bow. Yeah, there we go, nice. Uh oh, is this a boss? What's up, Insomnia? What is that sound? It sounds like goats. Continue to explore the underground space in the general shrine. Well, we might as well just, I guess, keep pushing on. Because we got to figure out what this place is all about. Don't know where I should be going, though. That just must be it up there. That's my quest marker. GG's. Up, Keats. Wuxia literally means martial arts and chivalry, the genre of Chinese fiction concerning the adventures of martial artists in ancient China. Wish I had a light source right now. I think I'm pretty much done here now, so we're gonna not. I got yeah. Let's move on to something else. But I still have this this quest right here for the explore. There must be more to the tunnel, I guess, and I can also stop tracking. All right, so we're done tracking that one, and we'll come back in there. How the hell do I get out of here? Just Go back up. Fun to mess around in this little underground dungeon shrine. Can you grab a torch? I'm not sure. Next time I come across one, I'll give it a try. I don't think I have a torch slot in my inventory. Let's go to inventory. We do have a bunch of tools, you guys will notice here. It looks like a hatchet, pickaxe, a hoe, fishing pole maybe, and then a sword too. Yeah, so there's a whole category for tools in this game. I don't see a torch slot though. You can also recycle things too. Let me try to recycle this hide right here. Not recyclable item, okay. Okay, now we're back out here. We'll do a quick bow. The general wing.
Let me talk to the horse dancer before we push back on with the main quest. I want to see what happens here. Yo <笑> 光叔给你出钱这点小钱你光叔还是有的Okay, so Yep, so we're gonna head head back to Fairy's End. But it is giving me the option, so I think this is the main quest right here. It's giving me the option to keep looking around this area and also finish that dungeon that I started. But we're gonna head back to Fairy's End to see what happens here. Yeah, is um is that game coming out for PC, Dave? Is it getting a PC release or is it already out in on PC? No, I'm going to go. The dog returns. All right, um, let's see here. My mini map is blinking two separate things on the top left of the screen. Before you leave, subtly ask Guang if he knows where Uncle Jing is headed. Okay. Um, we'll track it. Ah, there we go. Okay. That makes it a little bit easier tracking. But let me just see what else I have here. We have the five tones. We're going to skip that for now. And then... Oh, the exploration quest is over. Yep, let's focus on the main quest. Xiao Dongjia, you're really out of here. <笑>韩娘子还把你看得那么严啊没都好几年没离开神仙渡了再不出来换口气快闷死我了不过别跟我韩姨说不然她肯定要发飙不知道我在担心些什么哎呀三年前江大侠一去不回韩娘子是担心
Your measure is being taken. You feel your coin pouch? Oh, no. Wow. Drinking contest? Hey, Alan. What's up? I don't think so, Lorenzo. All that I know is it's an open-world action-adventure RPG. Position the cursor within the aiming circle and remain inside for a set time. I don't think you have to play, like, multiplayer with other people. You can remain inside it for a set... Hold on, let me, let me read this again. Position the cursor within the aiming circle and remain in for a set period of time. Press R2 to throw the arrow. You have 10 seconds to aim before throwing automatically. How did I miss that? Didn't I go... Oh, you gotta hold it. Okay. There we go. <laughs> this is pretty cool. A little mini game. Beer pong in China. Single aiming, press up, press down, left, right. The cursor to get the cursors into the same circle and stay inside the circle for a certain period of time. Double target tutorial. Okay, let's just try it. Oh, wow. Whoa, that's super hard. This is probably a mouse and keyboard one right here. It wasn't too hard, actually. No! Pressed it too early. I'm winning, though, I think. I feel like I want to play this game. Oh, dude, that is... Wow, that is crazy right there. View feats. Your opponent praises your superior skill. Bids farewell. Victory, okay. Got Jade Haven. Heaven. Um, okay. Everything I everything I interact with in this game, like there's a whole there's a whole system behind it. It's pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and leave the Ancestral Temple. Seems like there's a lot to do here, but let's push on because I want to try to accomplish the objective that was set forth for me. <laughs> oh no, another puzzle. <laughs> Um, I don't have to do it, but it looks like maybe we need to, hold on, let's lift this up. Insufficient room to place it. Is that all I needed to do? Puzzle complete, kitty cat, or what? This kitty cat's funny. Whoa, there's a climbing... No way! I told you guys, every time I do something, there's like a whole... A whole new thing to learn and try. Oh, we have a couple right here, too. Can I pick these up? Oh, maybe it just needs to go over there. I don't know. Meow. Meh. Also complete. I got a few cat bells. I don't know what those are for, but my brain can't handle any more information. Oh my gosh, look at this world. Return to Fairy's End, okay. Do 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 do. 
Wow, this part of the map is gorgeous. Crap, Stone Lave Shore. See a lot of red dots on the mini map right now, too. Venture right there. We're just gonna beeline it. I mean, I'll, I, I want there's like so many things I want to explore right now, but I want to make sure that I figure out what the nameless emperor is, and then we can take our time and do whatever. But I'm getting a little worried that I'm not going to be setting out or not going to be completing the objective that the developers asked me to do. I want to. I just don't know where it is. There's too much to do in this game. Okay. Let's go that way. We'll talk to this adventurer. Now we're going to leave that. We're going to leave it be. You can swim in this game, yes. And there's like a whole artistry associated with it. I don't think I've learned it yet, though. Pretty sure you can dive, because let me... Oh. Well, my first death. You can dive, but you can also die. Okay. <laughs> we'll see what happens when you die. It's my first death. Yeah, I saw something about diving. But you might have to just unlock the artistry to be able to do it. Yeah, super excited, Cloud. So look, if we go into artistries here, we scroll over to King Gong. You guys can see we have a dive right here. But I'm not exactly sure. I don't I don't think I've unlocked it yet, because it's not letting me equip anything, see? Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. Sword flight. No way. No way. You can also heal with your fan, too. I haven't figured that out. Oh my gosh. Yeah, good lord is right, right? Meteor rush, it's called. And then wind ride. Well, that's one way. I, yeah, okay. Who needs fast travel when you got that, right? Game does have fast travel, but... Okay. Yeah, I, I can't equip anything, and I don't know, like... I have dive right here. It says press square to dive and X to go up. But it wasn't working when I was doing that, so... I don't, don't exactly know. But we'll try again. We'll go back into the water. I gotta get some of those land traversal artistries. Now it's raining. It did say real-time weather system. Uh-oh. Something's trying to kill me. It's a bear. Solid. Game is pretty. I know, right? Isn't it? Okay, so here's a boundary marker. So I think I, if I die again, I'm probably going to on here. Let me try swimming again, see if we can go underwater. Make sure I don't die this time. Yeah, so it's not letting me dive, but you can do it in the game. I just don't know how to. world is like filled with all sorts of things. This is kind of freaky. Oh, 
浩儿怎的不肯认我？定是怨爹不教你这金玉手，爹爹现在就教你，好不好？哎，也是糟孽。早知今日，何必当初抛家弃子？不能怪严婆婆不认你。可要是任由他定在这里不管，非得饿死不可。什么？好，好，好孩子，你终于看。R2 to switch to adventure artistries. Oh, wow. Okay. I just unlocked a few of the adventure artistries, so let's see what happens here. Whoa, whoa. I'm hidden right now. Okay, so I had that one before, but now I just unlocked this one. Use magic hand to help Yan break free from the acupoints. Oh, well, I don't need to use magic hand. We're just gonna we're just gonna push on. We'll come back here. How do you observe? I'm trying to observe. Not sure. This is going to be pretty cool. You can hop on these. You can. Of course you can. Die, bird. I think we're back on the main quest now. I've already played KCD1, one of my favorite games of all time, my man. We'll be doing another run before KCD2 comes out later this year. Got a new side quest. On Blossom. There's just so much to interact with and so much to do. Goose on the loose. Now some games are pretty empty. This this ain't one of them, that's for sure. <笑>我又边一点哎对对了就放在那周叔这么早就搭棚的今年最先越来的人太多现在赶快把棚搭上省得日头上了人挤人哎说起来红线呢他又拉着你跑出去了蛮不过周叔是管胡子的商队他们等
How you doing, buddy? Should I kill it? Yeah, we should kill it because this isn't my official character. Oh, you little hen, come here. Kind of curious what it drops. Nice. Stringy meat. Definitely is. Probably should use the lock on. You okay, buddy? Okay. The butterflies that look like fires are usually found in one or more groups. Chase the butterflies into a shrine to light all the incense sticks there. Unexpectedly gains may follow. Hmm. Interesting. That梨花树下在烧什么？都冒烟了，我得赶紧把火灭了，可别把周围都烧起来。Oh really? trouble. I'll treat you to dinner in the nearby village. What do you say? I think I'm learning how to cook right now. Of course this game has cooking. Why wouldn't it, right? Make some roasted meat.
I like the little 2D animation. Oh, the gameplay is pretty good so far, Chaucer. Everything's really smooth. Combat's a lot of fun. Artistry's glowing nights. We're not gonna now. We're not gonna do the firefly thing right now. Like I said, I want to. I want to complete the objective that was set set for me, and then we can do whatever we want. Because there is clearly a lot to do in this game. This is a beautiful area. Take a look at the map and see where we are right now. This is where we started. Looks like a UFO right there, doesn't it? Main quest, chapter one, fairy's end. In the south comes the unrestrained, with no fine clothes nor horses, traversing the hills and rivers. He lingers by a courtyard where naught but peach trees stand guard, and torn cobwebs flutter in the wind. He toasts the blossoms. Yeah, I left that girl to starve, roguish.先越才开始被一个黑贼偷袭 I just so you guys know, the character creator is uh, pretty extensive, and you can play as male or female. Why是不让我去江湖？浪叔音信全无，难道你就不担心？抢走玉佩的人，也许和浪叔有关。啊，他还留下一个标记在小屋上，就像燃烧的龙纹。那又怎样？总之，你绝不能离开神仙渡。最
，我在问，真真是花上秀景、蜜里调油的好地方呀！不要钱，那这果子钱谁出啊？总不能城中，你也不想想，为啊，你说温无痕？没错，正是温公子，他所辖未央城居于水上。绣布朱门红，哼！四大公子什么时候还分了高低？伤古渔夫，江湖怎么个说法，我可不管。反正我们就这么认。去年未央城水神祭，有个妇人偷，他跟温公子说，自己是偷跑出来看东阙公子的，眼下见着了。哎，猜什么猜？快！哼，温公子呀。让人把传宴的金杯尽数抛向水，这等仗义疏财的豪客，当然是四大公子之首。哼，未央成这般好、啊，嗨，有人生来住未央，有人生来跑商行，有什么办法呢呀，少东家？今日卖我百坛离人醉。哎，饭酒的事儿，你得问我韩姨。先喝好，喝好啊。这位是走北路的，你可知那烟云？哎呀，契丹的残暴，各位都早已知会。那你那声势浩大的北伐，我在黄河边曾见那兵马。谁曾想，最后主将身故，余下的都是无能之徒。幸亏燕北北伐，哼，北伐。两年前，几十年了。Sorry, I'm reading faster than any of you guys. 来来回回的打仗呢。哎 ，We do a full playthrough one day. We'll take our time and maybe I'll read everything out loud too. We're just kind of skimming through it. 江湖人，江湖人要是个个能靠得住，当年王钦不错。正如官府中中间混子，你不走北路行商 ，Certainly put time into the dialogue. That's for sure. 边塞这十几年，少东家。All right, you guys, give me one second. Let me just check my sheet here. Um, because we're three hours into the stream, and I don't think I have done a single thing that they wanted me to do. <laughs> one second, guys. Let me just check it and see what I'm supposed to do. It wasn't explained too well, so it's like. This game is huge. There's so much to learn and take in. Just take a quick look here, if you guys don't mind. All right, so. Do, 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 do. Defeating the Nameless Emperor in the beginning tutorial. I don't know where that is. I haven't seen anybody name the Nameless Emperor. It has to be like way earlier. I must have missed it or something because they only asked for a one hour stream and we're three hours into it. I don't mind because I'm having a good time playing around with the game. Yeah, I don't know where the Nameless Emperor is. <laughs> I'm so sorry where it wins me. I hope you guys are enjoying the gameplay though. Well, let's push on a little bit more of the main quest and see where that brings us. I actually really appreciate the amount of dialogue that's in this game, especially for all like us RPG lovers out there. Seems like you can really lose yourself in all the characters and the side quests and everything. They put a lot of time into it. 
Look how long her hair is. Oh, okay, okay. I check my email real fast and see if anybody sent me an email regarding this. Nope. Not in trouble yet. Uh, huh? Yeah, I must be like long past what I was supposed to do. This is where we started. I hope I'm not pushing into content that I'm not supposed to show. That wouldn't be good. Right? General Shrine, Stone, Slave Shore. Hmm. No, I think I'm allowed to be out here. There was no, like, restrictions or anything. With the amount that I was able to play, it was just at least an hour. Let's go do one more one more main quest and see where it brings us. Dude, the world is huge. Let's see if I'm getting anywhere closer to I don't know, man. Hey, buddy, what's up? My character swings above the wolf, but if it was a human, it actually hits. Oh shit, am I almost dead? Seek treatment. Oh, here we go. Here comes the hardcore elements. You are ill. Find a clinic to seek treatment as soon as possible. Let me see if I can block the wolf. I can't. Okay. Insufficient stamina. That's one thing I haven't gotten good at. About to die. Cat。哦,这砸的架势可真是摧枯拉朽。Alright, let's um let's see if I can fast travel. 
I'm going to go back to the starting area. I actually don't know how to fast travel. Visit. Oh, man, I forgot to unlock the fast travel back in the starting area. Shrine. Here's one right here. So if we click on this, yes, we can fast travel. I'm going to stop playing the main quest because I feel like I'm spoiling it for people. Um, visit to unlock fast travel. I didn't unlock that one either. Really? Maybe you have to go from shrine to shrine. Ooh, look at this. I didn't mean to click that button. Dungeon challenge. Designated set artistries. Upgrade material. Group raid. Oh, man. Okay. So we were talking earlier about the game offering multiplayer. And this says group raid right here. That's pretty awesome. Like a group with other players? I don't know. <clears throat> Oh yeah, look on the top of the screen right now. So we're in single player mode right now, and then to the right it says multiplayer mode. You have not unlocked multiplayer mode. Pretty cool. See ya, Keats. All right, let me click on this. Check the map. Okay, so only the gold pillars are the ones that I can fast travel to. So let's try this one. We're going to head back to the, the tutorial area kind of earlier on in the game to see if I can uh, figure out who this Nameless Emperor is and why I haven't been able to fight the Nameless Emperor yet. I mean, really, like, the description for what they wanted me to show to you guys was, like, come into the game, you know, defeat the Nameless Emperor, and then you don't have to play anymore if you don't want to. Hour-long stream. I'm, like, three and a half hours into it. I have no idea who the Nameless Emperor is. But that's a good thing, because I've been getting distracted with all sorts of things. I just feel bad if I take a sponsorship and people are paying, you know? But I feel like it's not my fault, because the instructions were just not clear at all. Especially in a game like this, where there's 7 million things that you can do. Yes, yeah, so this is earlier on in the game right here. This is where I started the stream today, and this is actually after the character creator and also after the combat tutorial. Go up this way a little bit. Maybe no more killing wolves. Do 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 do. And then we came over here. Wow! Look at the world. I want to go up to those mountain tops right there. I have rabies right now. Okay, let's take a look at this system real fast. Clear mind, you're in good health and have no illness. Mind, 12, 20 additional 8 points needed. Body. Hey. Connecticut satiety will result in crafting failure. Crafting consumes, okay. We have endurance right here. Coldness resistance, fear resistance, heat resistance, toxin resistance. Vitals, reputation. Okay. Well, I honestly don't know what to do. So we are going to... I'm going to show you guys a couple five-second clip videos that the devs wanted me to also showcase in the stream. Let me pause the game real fast. It's not how you pause it. Hang in there with me, folks. Exit game. Hang in there with me if you guys don't mind real fast. You're not going to be able to see what I'm doing at the moment, but you will momentarily. Got to find something in my email. Do 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 do. And I'll switch over to display mode here in a second. <laughs> if y'all don't mind. I thought I had this ready to go. Apparently I didn't. I must have clicked off of it. Okay, here it is. I found it. All right, let me bring you guys over to the do -do -do display screen. 
turn off that volume and these are the files that devs wanted me to share with you guys and these are different artistries in the in the game let me turn this way down holy crap let's have like six five second clips here let's see what we got going oh my god we didn't see none of that when i was playing i definitely didn't have that artistry we got that one we got this one <laughs> what <laughs> okay i guess that's one way to go fishing in this game right The dude just pulled out a bell. It's crazy how much there is to this game. It really is. It really kind of blew my mind a little bit. All right. Very cool. Oh, we got one more. I can't even tell what he's doing. Wait, is that a teleport? I have no idea what just happened right there. Okay. I had no idea you could do that. Oh my god. Look at the slow fall. That's fun. All right, y'all. I really hate to do this because, like I said, I didn't show you guys what I was supposed to show you guys, but I don't know what else to do. Like, I tried. I tried my hardest. So, uh, But overall, this is a pretty damn cool game. I definitely didn't expect it to have this many systems and mechanics, and most of them seem to be really well implemented. We'll definitely be keeping an eye on this game. And uh, if you guys want to uh, support the devs, etc., there are some links in the video description. You can pre-register. I don't know if it's for the open beta, if they're doing an open beta or how they're doing it. Um, that link should be in the description. Also, their Twitter account and their Discord server. But I'm going to have to send an apology email, and hopefully... Uh, I mean, it's, I feel like it's not my fault because nothing was explained good enough. But, I mean, most importantly, we had a good time running around the game. I don't want to sp spoil the main story anymore, but I thought it was pretty cool. So appreciate you guys hanging out tonight and uh, watching the stream. I don't think I'm going to be live tomorrow because I will not... Wait, will I be live tomorrow? Maybe I will be. We'll see. Got to get back to Fallout 4 at some point. Let me just double check my sheet here. <laughs> yeah, it says if there's time after showcasing the magical materials, continue with gameplay such as Bamboo Grove, General Shrine Area, General Shrine Forgotten Maze. I think I did all of that. No, no. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. And uh, where's when me? Thank you guys for sponsoring a stream. Sponsored streams are pretty cool. Just get to play a game. Yeah, pretty cool. Way easier than doing videos, that's for sure. I have no idea, Silver. Uh, maybe I can get back to maybe I can get back to you on that at some point. But I don't know. See you guys. Thanks, Kate. Kaleli? 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 Is that how you pronounce it? See you, Mr. Hardcore. I'm interested. Hell yeah. It's a cool game. You play some Manor Lord tonight? Nah, man. I gotta get off now. Later.
Uh, thanks for watching, Christina. Yeah, I'm in the closed beta right now, so this isn't available for everybody. Not sure what their plans are for like an open beta or how they're going to do that. I have no idea. I have limited information on the game.